Okay, hello again folks, it's Sagat's location test mod today, so I've only actually got about 5 or 6 characters left, so looking forward to completing them all finally. But after I've done them all, I will go back to the previous ones and normalise their red focus attacks and delayed wake ups and add in any extra features, extra tweaks from that new Capcom list and stuff like that. So I'll try and update them after I've done the next 5 or 6 characters that are left. So. Sagat, he hasn't got many. So first off, delayed wake up. You can stay on the ground for 11 more frames if you hold heavy punch when you get knocked down. Down. <laughs> when you get knocked down. So, um, red focus attack. So, normal focus attack, but you can press heavy punch or heavy kick as the optional button now, so it looks like so. So, pretty noticeable as well. I don't think Sagat's got many subtle things. So, same things as before, level 1 doesn't crumple, maximum level does, and they're the only two levels you have. Comes out the same speed as well. It costs 2 meter and can absorb 32 hits of non-armor breaking hits. You can FADC into it, um, if I can, there we go. Costs all your meter, absorbs 0 hits, but can crumple on level 1, on hit, so I'm not sure, there we go, heavy kick will work. So that's all for Sagat, so now we have, <laughs> that's all, now we've got his actual changes. So he hasn't got many, so close standing light kick, the second hit is now hit special cancelable. So close standing light kick, that double hit move there. The far one is the same but it hasn't been changed, so the far one is no longer, or still not, special cancelable the second hit. But the close one now is, like so. Okay, and I don't think you can combo into it. You can chain into it like that but you can't do anything afterwards so really I don't know what it's going to do you guys can figure it out I don't know where the difference is between close and far seems to be about there okay the next thing is his light medium and heavy tiger knees now force stand on the first hit so if he was crouching it forces him to stand up okay the first hit only like so, so it should connect, shouldn't go over them if you hit them on the first hit anymore, which is always nice. And EX Tiger Knee changed from minus one on block to zero on block. Okay, oh, 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 I don't know what happens there, that might be different. But if we make him stand, like, um, like mentioned a minute ago, it was only the light, medium and heavy Tiger Knees which made him stand. The EX still doesn't, but that should be neutral on on block now. Okay, so this next change is one that I had to work quite a bit to hopefully try and fix. His Ultra 1. First off, his forward movement has been reduced, so let's just show that. At max range, it goes about three quarters of the screen, and it looks slightly different, but bear in mind I will explain some of that. Full hits in the corner, versus air opponents now, so they no longer get like shoved out when you hit airborne opponents. And versus airborne opponents, it does 340 damage rather than 395. So I had to change a lot, like the full speed of Ryu, how much you get knocked back, you know, and how far Sagat moved forward and back, because when you change one thing, it sort of cascades, and I'm trying to get it to work in all scenarios. So I checked it in multiple ways. First off, point blank, both mid-screen and in the corner, and it seems to connect fine. The next thing is comboing into it, so stuff like so. That seems to connect fine as well. Now, take into account this is a work in progress. If anyone finds out, I tried to do testing, but if anyone finds out anything wrong, let me know and I'll try and fix it. And the next thing is jumping opponents. Okay, so ones who are just jumping and you just get them. Because that acted a little differently. But that connects now. And obviously, in the corner opponents who are comboed or jumping. So this is kind of what I come up with. So he does still kind of come out but the hitbox makes sure all the hits connect but he still does actually get dropped out. So I'm not sure whether that's a... obviously it's not a good thing because then you lose your corner positioning but I found it really hard to keep him in the corner. So for now all your hits connect but he does still get knocked out of the corner. So his last change is to his Ultra 2. It now gets full hits versus airborne opponents but when it hits, it gets reduced damage. So that could be a buff or a nerf. We'll find out in a second. 
So 312 damage, now it does, versus air opponents, rather than 384. So 384 is what it did against grounded opponents. So when you hit air opponents, it does 312. So let's just show that, it gets 4, 8 hits. It'll be 9 because I sure you can him. Like so. Okay. And this combo, if I can do it, should now do 444, where previously it did 390. So you've got a 44 damage increase on that combo. So that's a buff. Okay. So there are all the changes for Sagat. Some pretty interesting ones. I like his Ultra 1 because it took me a lot of effort. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Five characters left. Take care. So when you want to install my mod, you need to download the mod in the download link in the video. And then extract the file. You'll have your character name changes. So a nice readme to let you know what I've changed and how I changed it. And installation instructions if you don't want to listen to me. And you'll have a character name.bac and character name.bcm. So the next thing you need to do is find your Capcom directory because your Super Street Fighter 4 files will be in there. Mine's in the C drive in program files, but if you bought it on Steam, it'll probably be in your Steam directory somewhere. So you go in to Super Street Fighter 4. Now you've got some patch 1.07 and patch 1.06. You need to find the one with your most up to date character. For example, if we were doing Sagat, his most up to date one would be in 1.07, as long as as well as Ryu, Juri, Dudley, DJ, and Cody. But most characters are in 1.06. The character I'm doing is in there, and most characters are. I'll mention it if it's in 1.07. So you go in, and then you go into Battle, Regulation, Latest AE, and then you find the character we're doing. I'm doing Bison, which has got the, the name Vega at the moment. And so you'll have the character name.bac, character name.bcm. And all you need to do is I recommend making a backup and sticking, copying those files in and rename them original just so you've got them as backup. And then you just copy over my ones into there and that will allow you to play as my modded version in arcade mode, training mode and versus mode. So you can have some fun. If you've got local friends to play with, you could update two characters that I do and then fight against each other with the new changes. That would be quite interesting. Anyway, so thanks for watching and I hope that has helped.